Hey, indie filmmakers, Griffin here in Las Vegas for the Consumer Electronics Show, and I have been very fortunate to partner with Panasonic. They've given me a pre-production version of the new Panasonic GH5. I suppose I can finally reveal the logo. And I've already shot a short documentary with it in 4K 60p. I've used every Panasonic GH camera, and today I'm gonna to do some side-by-side -side comparisons between the GH5 and my Panasonic GH4. The new GH5 is still mirrorless, still compact, but a tiny bit taller, 5.7 ounces heavier, that's about the weight of two GH5 batteries, which are the same batteries that were used in the GH4, which is great, because I love those batteries, they last a long time. The new body is freeze-proof, loses the pop-up flash, but adds full-size HDMI and dual SD card slots, which at first I didn't think I'd care about, but I shoot a lot of time lapses, and it's nice from an organization standpoint to send all of my photos to one card and video to the other but it can also relay record across both cards or backup record to duplicate your footage. Inside, the biggest game changer for me is the in-body image stabilization. Many Panasonic lenses have OIS, optical image stabilization, built into the lens. But now that the body can also reduce shake, the two can communicate and work in tandem. That's called dual IS. But what's great for me is because I like to shoot handheld, many of my favorite lenses like the 12 millimeter F1.4 doesn't have optical image stabilization built in. But because this sensor does, now this can reduce my handheld jitter. You'll notice the GH5 has a wider field of view in 4K. That's because the 4K crop factor is gone. The GH4 sensor was 4,608 pixels wide, and it made sense for the processor to just capture the middle 3840 pixels for 4K video, which cropped the sensor. Now the GH5 sensor has more pixels, and the better processor can use the full sensor to capture 4K video. This newer sensor also reduces rolling shutter by capturing each frame a few milliseconds faster. To see the image quality of the GH5 on a real project, check out my five-minute documentary about ice in New York City cocktails. It's shot and presented in 4K 60p. And even if you're someone who doesn't like the look of 60 frame per second video, it's perfect for capturing slow motion in 4K. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe as I will continue to share videos about the GH5. I even have this landing page on my site where you can find all my GH5 information.